Grenfell's mission was well known in Newfoundland and Labrador and throughout Canada, the United States, and Great Britain. Grenfell was also well known for the cloth named after him. The production of Grenfell cloth was the result of a meeting between Wilfred Grenfell and British mill owner Walter Hathernwaite. Noting the need for a fabric that was well suited to cold weather and windy conditions, Hathern Waite experimented with densely woven cottons until he discovered a suitable weave. The cloth was so dense that it required that the mill's machinery be re-engineered. Manufactured in Hathern Waite's mill in Lancashire, its name and advertising were linked directly to the IGA. Grenfell cloth is weatherproof and windproof and will keep you beautifully warm. When Sir Wilfred Grenfell was in Labrador, he found he required a cloth of exceptional quality for clothing. It had to be light in weight, very strong in wear, waterproof to withstand both snow and rain, and windproof to retain the wearer's warmth. Grenville cloth was sold at cost directly to the mission and workers crafted apparel in its industrial department. Sales supported the mission's enterprises and were promoted through the slogan Grenfell, a name with great associations. Endorsed by the Royal Geographic Society, it was adopted for the Society's expeditions to Mount Everest in 1933, 1936, and 1938. Its association with adventure extended to race car and speedboat record holders and long distance aviation. During the 1990s, Hathorne Waite's mill was sold. For a short time, Grenfell cloth was produced in Japan. Later, it was sold again and its production continues today from London, England. Its manufacturers work with the organization Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders, whose work ethic, the company suggests, matches perfectly with that of Sir Wilfred Grenfell. <laughs>